Here is your tail of the tape, Gaethje, 26, 5, 11. There you see his weight and reach. Luis Palomino, originally from Lima, Peru, 34 years of age, 5'8", 154, and a 68-inch reach. But he says he is ready, he is acclimated to the desert, and he is set to go, ready to take away the belt that Justin Gaethje has defended. This will be his third title defense. Will the third time be the charm for the challenger as we set it up to Jessica? All right, fighters, we went over your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves now if you wish. Come out swinging. So here we go. The main event of the night as Emily Miller gets us started live on NBCSN. Gaethje Palomino 2. You ready? You ready? You ready? Let's fight! Scheduled for five rounds, Chael Sonnen, I will be shocked if it goes all five. I would be stunned as well. This fight brought to you commercial free by Alienware, Justin Gaethje in the white trunks, Luis Palomino in the red trunks. Palomino coming forward. Palomino, an expert ground fighter, but Gaethje an expert of getting his opponents to the ground. Gaethje stocking forward, Palomino needs to get off that fence. There he goes down in the middle. Just as told me yesterday, he cannot take breaks because when he takes breaks, he tends to go backwards. That's something he can't do here. Gaethje took a big shot there already. Aside, Tommy, Matt Gaethje for the front. Gaethje's hurt. He stumbled a little bit. That's the second big shot he's taken. Oh, and a big shot to the stomach. The knee from Palomino. Gaethje's in trouble. Now, Gaethje's been in tussles like this before, Todd. He's hard to get rid of. But he is definitely hurt. I think Palomino's even surprised at his work. I'm not sure why he's allowing this clinch. He needs to lower his elevation, dig back to the body. Gaethje just needs a few moments to clear his head. He looks stable on his feet, but Chan, for a moment there, he was a wobbly fighter. Palomino slipped back and looked at his work. He needed to step in there and finish. World-famous coach Clean Hires talks about this all the time. When you got a guy hurt, push him away and go back to the body. And I think Palomino still got a chance to look. Todd, notice how Gaethje is yep. bending over. Yep. That is an amateur wrestling move. That is not the posture that an MMA fighter has. And when he does that, his body is open. All Palomino needs to do is lift up a knee. It doesn't even have to be hard. Just lift it. It will hit the target. Gaethje in with a double. Palomino's going to need to dig inside or he's going to go for a ride. And Gaethje goes back to his roots. Remember, the former Division I All-American wrestler at the University of Northern Colorado. If he's stunned, he's going to get this thing to the ground and go to his roots. Palomino said that he would use Gaethje's power as his dad. takes you down. He needs a moment to enjoy that position because of the effort he just went through. When Palomino pops back up, it oh, he's down. Gaethje. Gaethje with a big uppercut. Palomino's now in trouble. Palomino's got an underhook. He can use this underhook to keep Gaethje off him. And Palomino gives up the back, protecting his right side. So now it's Palomino in trouble, trying to survive, and he's still got two minutes to go. This fight's as good as Ray Semple promised it would be, and we are only halfway through the first round. The crowd is now on their feet, chanting Gaethje. I think both these guys are trying to seize up the moment a little bit. Palomino needs to bring a leg up, pick one leg, then the other, and get to his feet. She just returns him the hard way. That's the problem with gravity, Todd. When you go up, you gotta come down. That's 160 plus pounds that Gagey just threw to the canvas, and now he's answered with the big elbows. Luis Palomino just trying to hang on. He's still got a minute 15 to go. And this whole fight is a battle of endurance. Who can stay in there longer? Gagey just used a lot of energy. But Palomino, who wasn't quite as active, was happy to hold the weight of Gaethje, so that's a problem for him as well. Picking up right where they left off back in March in what could have been the fight of the year, and this 
this first round has been amazing. Both fighters have been rocked, and we've got 45 seconds to go here in round one. This one's scheduled for five. Oh, I don't like that move choice by Gaethje. There's no need for that right now. Good focus techniques that have already worked, Gaethje. Palomino keeps putting himself about 12 to 20 inches from the fence. I'm not sure what kind of strategy that is. That's where he needs to be. Put Gaethje on the fence. What happened here? Oh, we got a low kick. Low. So a low kick with 16 seconds to go in round number one. And now it becomes the discretion of the referee. Right. You can take it sure. to five minutes. Right. Right. Justin Gaethje, of course he sweats and says no big deal. No point taken away for our fans at home. There's a warning by the ref for an accidental. No point taken away. And Gaethje stocks him right back down. That's it, round number one is complete. Wow. How about that, Chael Sutton? Welcome to the World Series of Fighting, my friend. Absolutely outstanding. <laughs> so we are commercial free all the way to the end, brought to you by Alienware as we listen in will, to Justin Gaethje's corner. Okay, it's the space that you're getting in trouble, so I need to get in tight. The grappling is great because he gets up super tired. Okay, but he's looking to throw the low kick and then swing big shots because he's trying to get you to set. Does it make sense, deep breath? Okay, wait, hold up. When we, when we commit, we're 100% committed, right? Okay, no backing out. I don't want that space. You throw a shot, you're fucking in. Let's get him to the floor. Okay, here we go, baby. You're in. It was Justin Gaethje that got rocked first here, Chael. Yeah, Gaethje felt this. You know, there was a couple of shots there, Todd. The first one, he, he kind of hit. The second one, not so much. Ultimately, he took a knee to the body and just went down. Second down! But he did recover. Go! He was very hard to get rid of, and I think he won the round. Okay. Even with that okay. fall, with that fall. What a round as we move to round number two. Gaethje in the white trunks, Palomino in the red. Great control. Gaethje still coming forward. Palomino operating just on the outside of that fence. That's one place you don't want the wrestler to push us on the fence, but it's up to Palomino. He's going to get those feet working. There's a good push. There's a good combo. There's a good tip. Big right hand. Palomino coming forward and scoring. Gaethje covering up. There is no back down in Luis Palomino. He took a pretty heavy beating, two slams in round number one, and now he comes out with the round number two firing off combinations that would make Ross Bruton happy. And he gets rocked! Palomino has been rocked! And Gaethje jumps in! Palomino gets to bring his hips in. Don't get him over at the waist here. There he goes. Look how he pushes his hips out. He trains position.
forward. Hands are dropping down. Jalen could be dangerous. I'm seeing the same thing. I'm noticing that when he does attack, he has good power, but he takes a lot of breathers in between combos, doesn't he, Doug? Absolutely. As we bring you this fight, commercial free, brought to you by Alienware, Luis Palomino. Absolutely gassed to under a minute to go in round number two. Justin Gaethje continuing to stop and just as the Palomino is done. So on behalf of Joey Garner and Shane Sutton, I am Todd Harris. World Series of Fighting 23 is now complete. Remember, October 17th, we're back at it. World Series of Fighting 24 from the Foxwood Sport and Casino. So on behalf of our entire hardworking crew here at the Comerica Theater here in Phoenix, Arizona, I'm Todd Harris saying good night from the Valley of the Sun where Justin Gaethje gets the win. Yeah. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah.